All right, so I wanted to make a video on encryption just to show how easy it is. Um, anybody can use it. It doesn't really take a lot of skill to encrypt some information or decrypt it. Um, sometimes in the news, you'll end up hearing that um, they're just trying to generate some type of ban on phones that encrypt information, um, especially companies like Apple, um, Google with the Android phones. Uh, and then you'll hear about encryption in other ways, too, as far as like bad guys using encryption to communicate and the government can't understand what they're saying. Um, but everybody uses this encryption, good guys, bad guys. Um, it's how you protect your information as it travels across the Internet. So um, what we're going to do is basically just take um, a message and we want to send it to someone, but we don't want anybody to ever be able to read it. Um, so we, we might be worried. Who knows? You know, if uh, we're going to take a message called, you know, not called, but a message that says five million dollars under the swing set. Um, this is something that I want to send, you know, to a family family member. And maybe I have to have it, you know, go through multiple people's hands and I don't want everybody to be able to understand it. So um, I'm going to take this message, $5 million under the swing set, and then I'm going to create this key. And the key is really the most important piece because this is what locks the message into its you know, encryption text. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to take this $5 million swing set. We're going to encrypt it with the, this key. Th this key in particular happens to be the uh, year that my mother and my uh, father were born or father and mother, 1960, 1964. And that's going to generate this string of characters. So we're going to take this string of characters and we're going to load up our decryption program. And now our decryption program takes the encrypted text and the key. Boom. $5 million under the swing set. So I would give this message of characters to someone that maybe had to pass through some hands. Maybe it did have to end up in an email or two. Um, but everybody who saw it, they would only see this encrypted information. Once it got to the person who I wanted to get it to, they would take it and load it up into their program. Um, probably not connected to the internet, but just something that ran, you know, on some machine that they had control over. And they would plug it in, plug in the key, and boom, that's it. And all I need to do is send them the encryption text, and they should already know what the key is, right? You don't want to be sharing your key around. The key is something that is extremely um, important to the encryption program because that's where the strength of the encryption lies. Um, the majority of the strength. There are other uh, strengths, but the better your key is, the better your encryption will be. So let's say we have another message um, that we want to encrypt. Uh, so let's say um, I don't know. We're in school, um, and let's say there's no phones, right? And there's no phones. There's no email, um, but some people have access to certain programs. So. I can take a message, um, let's say video games at um, you know, my house. And then I would say video games at John house. And then after school, all right, so we say K. We're just going to use the same key and generate an encryption. And we're going to take this text and we can do anything we want with this piece of text. Nobody's going to be able to understand it. I can post it on social media. I can make a billboard out of it. All it's going to be to everyone in the world that doesn't have the key. It's just going to be a bunch of jumbled characters together. Um, so let's decrypt this message. So we can actually find out what's going on. 
video games at John House after school. Um, now, one thing that you, you can try to do is like, let's say you copy the, the encryption text wrong, right? It's going to be useless. This, this basically means that the program threw an error and it's not able to decrypt the message. Um, let's say you have the right encryption text, but the wrong key. Again, it's going to error. It can't, it, it, it doesn't work. You have to have the correct uh, key first off and also obviously the correct en encryption text. Um, so everything has to line up correctly for the um, program to actually work properly. But the next step that we're going to do is I'm going to show you the actual code. So it doesn't take a lot of code to do this stuff. Um, no different than you don't have to understand the way data transfers over uh, radio waves to understand how phone works. You just call somebody and they pick up the phone. That's all we're doing here. Right? We include a library called Crypto. And Crypto gives us access to a whole bunch of different functions and algorithms. And we just create an, a cipher uh, with the key that was uh, entered uh, by the user and then, you know, quickly print out the encryption text. Um, and the decryption text is almost identical. You know, you take that key, but instead of create cipher, we create decipher and then we output it um, to, the, to the console. So this stuff only takes a couple lines of code. It's super simple, very easy. Um, and it's impossible to stop. So trying to stop encryption is like trying to stop addition. Um, you know, we don't want bad guys to be able to count up how much money that they have because they can buy bad things with it and, and hurt people. Okay. So we ban addition, but now we can't count our own money. And that's the, the logic in between, you know, you know, banning something that everyone should be able to use and actually, protecting yourself because in the real world, there's um, a lot of different things that can happen. And you want to be able to protect the information that your clients have given you and trusted you, companies like Apple or Google. Um, but you also want to be able to trade information between people without having to worry, is somebody listening to this information? And so um, that's the basics of how encryption works.